Yeah, of course I have. Yeah, it's the guy who promoted the Beatles and got them the gigs there before Epstein. Yes, I know. Yeah, I know him well from the old days. Yeah. Sam is uh, one of the legendary figures from the Mersey Beat era. He was a great concert promoter. He was a friend of the Beatles. Um, some of the, the biggest events in rock and roll in Liverpool, Sam was involved in. So he uh, would promote different rock and roll bands from Liverpool um, in various venues. Because at, at one point there was a good hundred venues or more, so promoters would go to a venue, pick that one, get the bands for the night. So he used places uh, in Liverpool like the Rialto. The biggest one he used in Liverpool city centre was the Iron Door, which was a huge place. All the top bands played there. Uh, he did stuff at the Casanova Club. But probably what he should be remembered for is Operation Big Beat. Um, this was a magnificent thing. The first one he did was November 61 and the Beatles played at that. And it was based in the Tower Ballroom over in New Brighton, the other side of the River Mersey. And Sam managed to get the best bands in Liverpool. And he got a crowd of over 4,000, which is the greatest indoor um, audience the Beatles ever played to uh, in Britain. Fantastic achievement. And he did a couple of these, and they really were the best uh, concert promotions that, that we ever saw in Liverpool, I'm saying. The red name was familiar from many years ago. <laughs> it was something to do I've with... read loads of books about the Beatles and I've even met the first manager, Alan Williams, who went to Liverpool with them and I've never heard of him. Oh, I've well, forgotten, I... probably. He's a nice fella. Um, don't have a problem with him. He uh, tells his story, he signs his book and he signs his DVD and shows people photos. He's a pleasant enough fella. Now, if you only get one of them, say for 15, you just get one picture free. And I'll sign them all for you, you know. Is that any good shit? You'll, you'll sign them, but I'm, I'm sorry, but I don't know who you are. Well, you, well why are you sitting there? <laughs> That's me there. I promoted there. Look, yeah, there's what's going on and called me, the Pulse and Mosey Beach. All right. Well, if you don't know, I'm why you already come then. <laughs> oh, well, I'm glad you're dead. We, we just came I'm in glad, for a no, I'm glad you're, I'm glad you're dead, like, you know, but, you know. Why did the Beatles never go to Iceland? Well, I didn't even know they hadn't gone. I didn't know. Well, why don't you promote me in Iceland? When you go to my website, I'll give you my card. I'm on, I'm on seven million websites. Seven million. Is Iceland doing right financially? I don't think that Iceland is on seven million websites. I know. I know, I know it isn't. I know, it, I know that. Right, I'm going to give you that picture free. Cheers. And do you want this one as well? I'd love it. See, that's the Lava Buildings. Yeah. That's the very, very first test picture. Okay. There'll be 20 of us in this room. Paul, John, me and Dick Matthews. We're in the middle pew on the left. Nobody ever took my place because I mainly paid for the drinks. Most of the drinks were bought on me, you know. Anyway, um, I remember one particular day, it'd be a big roaring fire here, you know, and they were great, they were great days. And they'd all be arguing about bands, who was the best, swapping, swapping chords, words for songs, stuff like that, you know. And I remember the bar was a bit near, it was here then. I remember looking back and thinking, how long will this last? Because they, they were great days, and six months later, they'd all gone. Well, I mean, the beers had gone, that was it, you know. And uh, well, it was in inevitable they were going to be big time, you know. I always knew that. And there you go, they were great days. Sam had this great relationship with the Beatles, particularly with John and Paul. And I know Sam's dream was always to try and manage the Beatles, to get them to make a record, but he didn't have the finances to be able to do that. 
then of course, end of 1961, Brian Epstein comes on the scene and Brian has the financial backing that he could give to the Beatles. I'm never going to retire because I'm 74 now. I don't feel it, I don't look it, I don't act it, I don't feel it. Um, it's only because I've never stopped. People that retire at 65, all they're doing is waiting to die. It's stupid. They should keep doing something, get out and do something. And even though I don't always make much money here, uh, it depends on, on luck, you know. Certain, certain times of the year I do, but January, February are bad months for money, you know. But I still like doing it. Better than watching the Hitler channel, isn't it? <laughs> I got the Hitler channel, I'm like, what would they do without Hitler? They wouldn't be a channel with them. <laughs> I, they, should, they should do a statue to them. Our beloved founder, you know, <laughs> the, the, the history channel. <laughs> and there's plenty of good history that they never, they never show, including me. <laughs> I'm historical now, aren't I? God damn it. I'm <laughs> he doesn't get a mention, and you know, we should at least get a mention there yeah. somewhere. But uh, he is genuine. I mean, some, some uh, people will say, oh, who is he? I've never heard of him. But yeah, he's a genuine guy. I mean, he uh, got them gigs in the Jacaranda Club, didn't he? Things like that, you know, we actually, you know, we got them well established. It must, must have been hard because there was loads of bands back then, wasn't it? Well, there's bands now, but back then, I mean, you know, the Mersey Beat sound. He was good at promoting, you know, like other bands too. What, well, not just the Beatles, but, but um, yeah, Sam Leach, yeah, I'm familiar with his work. Yeah. Good. Want me to play your song, though? Yes, please. She asked me to stay, and she told me to sit anywhere. I looked around and I noticed there wasn't a chair I sat on a rug, biding my time, drinking hair We talked until two, and then she said, it's time for me I told her I didn't think crawled off to sleep in the bath. And when I woke. Have you ever heard of Sam Leach? Uh, no. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Thanks, anyway. Okay.